Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. TSMC is expected to produce A19 processors for Apple using 2 nanometers process in the second half of this year, while its competitor Samsung is facing the problem of low yield rate and Intel is not making good progress. Everyone thought that TSMC would be the world leader in advanced technology, but Japanese chips suddenly came out to promote the mass production of 2 nanometers process, which will become a strong rival of TSMC. Japan's 2 nanometers process is said to have entered the trial production stage recently, and it is expected to be mass-produced by next year. The mass production time is estimated to be only a few months slower than TSMC. In this case, Japan will advance from zero to compete with TSMC in chip technology. In 2022, Japan established a chip company Rapidus, which was jointly established by eight major Japanese companies. With the full support of the Japanese government, the newly established Rapidus can be said to be rich and powerful. Japan is so devoted to the development of chip technology because it hopes to revive the chip industry. Before the 1990s, Japan dominated the global chip industry and occupied half of the global chip market. Even some people in Japan shouted that if there were no Japanese chips, the United States would not be able to produce radios. It can be seen how arrogant Japan was at that time. Unfortunately, the good times did not last long. The United States soon adopted a policy of suppression against Japan. The Japanese economy quickly declined, and the chip industry also declined rapidly. Elpida of Japan once occupied an important position in the global memory chip market, but under the suppression of the United States, Elpida fell, and now the memory chip leader is a Korean company. Today, Japan can revive the chip industry because the United States hopes to diversify the sources of chips. Since the 5 nanometer process, Samsung has gradually fallen behind, and Intel has been stumbling in the research and development of advanced processes since the 14 nanometer process, resulting in TSMC's gradual growth. Now 70% of the advanced chips in the United States are outsourced to TSMC. After TSMC has gained an exclusive advantage in advanced processes, it has the right to speak and is not polite. It is reported that the 2 nanometer process that is about to be mass produced will increase in price by 50% again. Even if TSMC increases prices significantly, NVIDIA, Apple, Qualcomm, and other American chip companies still have to compete for TSMC's 2 nanometer process production capacity. It is even reported that Intel is also interested in handing over chips to TSMC for production and TSMC's net profit margin has exceeded 40%. In this case, the United States certainly hopes that other companies can check and balance TSMC to prevent American chips from being too controlled by TSMC. 
Japan also intends to revitalize its chip industry by establishing Rapidus, which coincides with the United States. It is reported that Japan was able to quickly advance the research and development of the two nanometer process with the technical support of IBM. IBM has always occupied a considerable position in chip manufacturing technology. TSMC obtained technical support from IBM when it developed the copper process. IBM has successfully developed a 2 nanometer process using GAA technology as early as 2021, four years earlier than TSMC. In addition, Japan is also more aggressive in chip equipment. It has purchased the most advanced 2 nanometer EUV lithography machine from lithography machine giant ASML. This is the third company to purchase a 2 nanometer EUV lithography machine after Intel and Samsung. The 2 nanometer EUV lithography machine is more conducive to the production of 2 nanometer processes. TSMC hopes to extend the use value of the first generation EUV lithography machine it has invested heavily in and reduce costs. In addition, there is no competitive threat. TSMC believes that as long as it can use the existing first-generation EUV lithography machine to develop a process that improves the corresponding performance, it can make the U.S. chips pay for it. Japan does not have these burdens. Japan's primary goal is to mass-produce 2 nanometer technology as soon as possible, coupled with the support of advanced 2 nanometer EUV lithography machines. Japan also has advantages in chip materials. TSMC needs to purchase chip materials from Japan. Japan is still very likely to compete with TSMC in chip technology. Japanese chip company Rapidus has advanced into 2 nanometer trial production with IBM technology, intending to break TSMC's monopoly with the advantages of lithography machines plus materials. The global chip landscape may be rewritten behind this counterattack is the confluence of the United States' acquiescence to the diversification of the supply chain and Japan's ambition to revive the semiconductor industry.